If you guys are sick of investing and you'd much rather just buy coins, I completely understand. I'll leave a link to my coin sponsor, MMAJH, in the description. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. I highly recommend them. And if you use the code HABER, you get yourself 5% off your order. Enjoy the video, lads. How's it going, lads? And welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be discussing why players are so incredibly expensive right now. You probably noticed that players are very expensive, the A-list players anyway. For example, George Best, a player that was going for about 1.6 million during Team of the Year, is now going for about 2 million, 1.8 to 2 million coins, which is crazy. Another player, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo, a player that was going for 1.5, this is a normal card by the way, 1.5 million coins during in the team of the year, which was a time where his normal card wasn't even in packs, is now going for roughly 2 million, well 1.8 or 1.9 to 2 million coins, an incredibly high price on the market, as you saw there, there is a bid on one for 1.96, I believe this is probably a fresh one, that's why it's got such a high bid, but yeah, so basically, uh, player prices are incredibly expensive right now, and the reason that is, is because there is a new coin farming glitch going around. I have no idea how to do this glitch, and this video will not tell you how to do the glitch either, but what it, I will show you is, is that there is a bunch of people farming coins right now on FIFA 17, or at least on Xbox. There is, I think the top 100 people um, for this week, match earnings, accumulate I think in a total around 60 million coins which is freaking insane that's like it, it, like that's coin sites getting 60 million coins which is crazy now you're probably thinking Ryan you've got a coin sponsor why are you against this my coin sponsor do not farm coins like this uh, my coin sponsor actually uh, well I don't know how they farm coins but I know for a fact that I asked them if they do this farming glitch they said they don't now the reason I've got a coin sponsor is literally you, I tell you the start of the video if you can't be asked to uh, do trading methods then feel free to just buy coins that's the reason i've got a coin sponsor and they also help support my channel i'm not going to be you know dishonest with it like i'm being serious like that they're, they're the two reasons why i have a coin sponsor but these accounts have 1000 draws and 880 losses and they're estimated december 2016 I've been estimated since May 2016 and played since September and have managed to play around seven to 800 games on FIFA. Like, that is the most I've managed to play. This account has played, well, apparently has played nearly 2,000 games since December and it's the same with this account and it's the same with this account and it's the same with this account and it's the same with all of the accounts every single account none of them have any wins on it's all draws or losses and it's absolutely crazy and I have no idea what is this like why these are going around but this is why player prices are so expensive right now because people are buying more coins and more coins are in the market the player prices go up now this isn't necessarily a bad thing as well because if if you guys invested in players or bought players during team of the year then you've made incredible amounts of coins and this is why but and I don't, I, like, I'm going to be completely honest here. Um, I, I like to think I've got experience in the market and what to do in such situations, you know, when new SBCs are coming out, when to buy, when to sell players. I ha I'm, I'm lost. I literally have no clue. Like, I've seen on Twitter as well, people don't know what to do with this because we don't know when to sell or when to buy players because we don't know if it's going to happen again or if it's going to die down. We don't know if EA are going to do something to stop these uh, coin glitches or coin farmers. Uh, we don't know what is going to happen. But as you can tell, 600,000 coins in a week is insane. Now, if you think about it, you get 400 coins. 400 coins per game. 500 at a max. If you guys haven't uh, ever raised quick games, maybe you get 600 coins uh, at a push. If you've got a coin boost on, you get a thousand coins. These don't; these aren't even high enough level to get the thousand coin boost. Like that's impossible. They're not even high enough level to get thousand coin boost. Like four hundred coins to get into six hundred thousand. I'd say four hundred. So you times that by about a thousand. That's like you. These 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 accounts have played over fifteen hundred games this week alone which is absolutely insane and it blows my mind and i'm so confused and don't know what is going on 
but we're going to have to see what EA say. I'd recommend going on Reddit and seeing what is getting posted about these coin farming accounts. Um, I believe Nepenthes will have a video on it as well. But one thing I'm going to teach you guys how to cash out on these is that consumables are at all time high right now. Very, very expensive consumables are. So, for example, uh, gold rare contracts. I listed these up for 700 coins. Now, granted, these ones, I listed these up at like 3 a.m. So it was very difficult these are going to sell. But... If you guys list these up at peak times during the weekend league, you'll get lazy buyers buying some of these for like 700 coins. Like I'm not kidding. If one of these sold uh, at 700 coins at 3 a.m. on a Wednesday night, I'm pretty sure you guys can get 700 coins during the weekend league. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss a few of these up as well just to see if I can make them. Now it's gonna obviously it's gonna take you over the hour to uh, to actually sell these, but I recommend doing it. And what else it's doing is bronze, bronze fitness cards, gold fitness cards, silver fitness cards all sell. All gold contracts sell, rare silver contracts sell, every single position modifier now sells as well. With the Inform Shamus Coleman, you can get 200 coins easily for um, for the right wing back to right back card, if you see here. These are going for like easy 200 coins, maybe even 300 coins if you guys get lucky. Um, but every single like every single position modifier, aside from maybe left wing back to left back or left back to left wing back, all sell. Um, the manager leagues sell, managers sell, players sell. Everyone is selling right now because there's a massive influx of coins in the market, and that is the way you guys can get your fair share of coins from this new coin farming glitch. Now, I recommend you guys that just cash out on your consumables now um, or cash out this weekend league. Uh, that's probably the best time to do it. And I think on Monday is going to be a buy day of all buy days. So if you guys do manage to get yourself the coins buy some players on monday because you guys are probably going to make an absolute killing from them anyway lads i want to thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it. if you guys did enjoy leave a like down below subscribe if you guys aren't around here check out mojh in the description if you guys want to get yourself some coins or thief points not even thief points just coins i don't know why i said thief points and i'll see you lads later